I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio and Golden Room Media Entertainment. We have an amazing interview for you today. Oh, yes. How can I say this? Ow. <laughs> I'm just loving it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we have Mr. Larry Blackman of Cameo in the house today. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm even better now that you're here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so tell us, how did Cameo get started? I mean, there's just so many different stories out there of people getting started. How did Cameo put his feet in the music industry? Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, we, uh, we, we started a while ago, um, and uh, we were a touring band, started in New York City, Toward the Northeast and Canada, over to the Midwest, and you know we we just toured, and and we wanted to be consistent and we wanted to be solid in the industry. Mm-hmm. So that touring helped a great deal wow. because that's all we did. I mean, we were on tour for goodness quite a while. Mm-hmm. So I moved, as you can see, I'm surrounded by music. <laughs> yep, that's okay. Um, Cameo was made up of two different bands, and we came together in the Midwest. Well, actually, in the, in the beginning, we were in New York, and we took the band involved. And then while we were in Canada, uh, it just made it stronger mm. um, from from uh, some guys from the Midwest and and guys from New York. But it was very interesting because it became that much stronger when we we all came together. Right. And we 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 were away from home for so long we forgot where we lived. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just that serious. So we toured in Battle Creek, Michigan and we were there for quite a while, okay, around the Detroit area. But that's coming from Canada, Under Bay, Ontario, if you know where that is. Yes. I bet you know. You do? I actually do. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> well, Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay was, was very interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, but while touring, you know, musically, we just, we just evolved. Mm. We just evolved. I can honestly say that when we left New York, we were a very different band than we were when we came back. Wow. <laughs> and that is amazing. It, yes. It, it, was, it was fun as well because the challenge was how good can you get? Mm. And upon coming back to New York, we played at a couple of staple clubs in, in New York City. And I remember seeing these clubs as I was growing up didn't realize uh, that one day we'd be playing there. Um, and uh, while playing at this particular club, a Broadway playwright approached the band and wanted us to do some of his songs. Uh, what? Yes, indeed. And uh, so that was the first official release, Okay. Uh, mm. was Find My Way. Mm-hmm. And it was written by a gentleman named Johnny Melfi, who wound up one of the producers on Sex of the City. My goodness. Uh, yeah, the television show Sex of the City. And uh, Johnny was uh, quite energetic. He wrote this particular song that was Neil Bogart at Casablanca Records became crazy about mm-hmm. it was uh it was sort of a disco song but he was crazy about it and he pushed that song and pushed it and pushed it after a year or so and the song didn't perform as well as we would have liked it to i uh contacted cecil holmes at casablanca records and i said listen why don't you come to new york and hear our original material mm. so he flew in and we 
got rehearsal space at SIR, Studio Instrument Rentals. Mm -hmm. They're still in existence today, I believe. And we played our material, Rigor Mortis, Funk Funk, very first album, which was called Cardiac Arrest, that Casablanca released, and it did very well. The first single did 40,000 copies in New York City in the first two weeks alone. Wow. Um, Yeah, so we were off to the races then. Subsequent albums, so it was gold. It went gold, and the second album went gold. We all know who we are. And each album subsequently went gold. And when we released the word up, several albums later, we went double platinum. (laughs) So that's the cameo story in terms of evolution, recording-wise. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, you know, the the whole thing is like you guys combined two bands. That doesn't really happen as often anymore. You know, most people are working with other people, but they're not really like combining two bands and becoming one. That's that's to me that's just a great story. Yes. Definitely. Yes, it is. Definitely. And, yes. And after a while, the guys from the Midwest missed home so much because they were gone for like two years, you know. Mm. New York was a whole new thing for them. So they went back to Michigan and we held auditions in New York where we picked up the Lieutenant Brothers and, you know, Eric Durham Mm -hmm. uh, and some others. And prior to Cameo, though, I had a band called East Coast, and Gwen Guthrie was in that band. And, wow. you know, God bless her soul, she passed away yeah. some years ago, but she wrote that song, Ain't Nothing Going On But The Rent. Mm. You gotta have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that I one. Yeah, she was, she was extremely talented. And her and another gentleman in my band, Achilles, wrote Supernatural Thing for Benny King. And, of course, that was the number one song. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Thank you. But, yes, and and we just evolved from there. Wow. Um, they were a couple, and, and they wrote several songs uh-huh. that the manager of the Commodore helped them make contacts and everything and they did very well and and Gwen went on, went on her own as you know but it was a fantastic combination of talent Wow. Um, and you know it was a great experience mm-hmm. um, I consider myself a very lucky person I hear you I hear you a lot of people Want to do what you're doing. And you do have some new major things going on. So tell me about that. We are recording another album after several years of doing the same thing. Uh-huh. Um, which I'm not complaining about. Uh, because, but no one ever do. It will last so long. It's been almost 40 years. Yeah. Um, and I, I consider myself such a fortunate individual to have had the opportunity of continue, continuing to do the same thing that I love doing, right. which is producing and 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 uh, developing. I love working in combination with other people creatively because, you know, it would be boring if you had, to, for me at least, to work by yourself all the time. I mean, I, I would certainly get bored. I am not one who prefers boredom. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and, and it's so, it's so challenging, uh, mm. working with others to, you know, see what you come up with. Right. Yeah. So I consider that, you know, something special. It is. Definitely, definitely. So you guys are back in the studio. This is amazing to have Cameo back in the studio. So what what can we expect? Are we looking for four songs, one song, seven songs, nine? What are we looking at this time around? 
I, I could tell you, I can, I can tell you that as a result of doing what I have done for so long, I'm looking forward to our audience gravitating to the songs. Right. Uh, always been strong with ballads as well as a typical tune. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be. It, you 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 can afford to some good music and. I'm doing covers also. I okay. wanted this album to be covers that we felt were special okay. for us to do. Mm-hmm. And the cameo doing is called Cover Me. And uh, it's going to be nice. That is so cool. I'm, I'm excited about how our audience receives it. Right. Yeah, definitely. definitely. You know, the, the the music industry has changed so much from when, you know, back in the day <laughs> to now. I mean, literally speaking, I'm looking at it going, my gosh. And I mean, it's it's got some more stuff going on. What I mean, what are you doing today that's different than back in the day, um, you know, well, when, when it comes um, to music? It, you know, I'm so busy doing it <laughs> that uh, I... I really haven't analyzed it. If anybody knows, so many different genres that, uh, you know, we feel, and and I guess every act feels that way after so many years, mm-hmm. that, you know, we think we know what people will like. And, right. and uh, that's hard to put in words, but let's hope we're right about that. Well, we, I mean... we've, been, we've been hitting on all fours for so long, you know, you kind of take yourself too seriously after a while. But, and, and so the time between the last recording we did and now, we spent that time reacclimating ourselves. Wow. And, uh, and we're looking forward to, I think this one will be as exciting. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Wow, wow. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on the show. I truly appreciate the time that you spent with me and and everything that you're you know you're you're going through that you went through to get to where you're at today and to show people that sometimes you just have to hit the road and you're gonna miss home. That's just gonna be you know if you are serious about this, you're just gonna have to do it. Yes, you give you've got to give it all you've got mm. and, and not play the caution side. Because had we been too busy trying to be cautious, who knows what would have happened. Exactly. Um, you know, you, you've got to give it all you've got if it, if it matters. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem doing that. And, and be sincere about the effort. Definitely, definitely. That is amazing. I, I truly, truly appreciate you being on the show today. I appreciate what you've done in the music industry. And I've definitely appreciated you being you know, uh, open and, and having your new stuff come, you know, being mentioned at least on my show. That's that's just a blessing. Well, it's been a pleasure being with you. Uh, I've enjoyed it. And any time and any time in the future will be available for you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so very much. And um, well, where can people find Cameo now? Where can where can they find you guys? Well, I, I don't think it will be hard to find us uh, once we're done and release this material. We hope by December, you know, it'll be there. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see how things happen. Um, we're looking forward to it. I believe me, I don't think it will be hard to find Cameo at all. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it very seriously. <laughs> Wow, but thank you so much again. I appreciate every every moment of this. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to put all of that contact and follow and like and social media and all that stuff in the in the description box so that it'll be easy for you guys to find them if you just can't find Cameo for any one reason or another. I I don't see where that would happen, but it's okay. We'll put it there anyway. (laughs) I want to thank you guys so much. And then don't, don't forget to dare to be different until next time, guys. Bye.